Hey, it's Ed here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for Nasdaq. I'll cover wave analysis with early to a theory and provide multiple scenarios price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's start here on daily time frame and looking at the whole uh, higher time frame picture first. Um, this is again uh, from the early early 2022, uh, this whole drop that we've been seeing throughout the whole year and looking at and analyzing that. So what I've got here is the ABC overall structure here uh, to explain this first part of this whole move. We've been going through this uh, quite a few times, so I'm not going to be using too much time on it. But the main idea here is that we had an ABC zigzag coming down. Now I did not think that in time this was enough to correct this whole move to the upside. Um, mainly again because we did not really hit any of the major targets that we had in time. The 38.2 here, for example. Um, so yeah, I was expecting us to get some kind of retracement. Either do this, this, or just do some kind of movement upwards and then downwards. Uh, but yeah, at the moment that is the scenario on higher time frame that I'm looking at. Now, the more local structure that we were, we have been tracking is uh, this one in which we are looking at this structure as a three-way pullback. Now, the idea with this one is that we have a three-way move that is really extended up into the top. Uh, this again can be probably viewed multiple different ways, having this as three waves, pullback three ways, and then again three waves. But again, the point is here that we had a low here and a high here, giving us a three-way correct, corrective look. And this is definitely not a impulsive look for me. So that's the main differentiation between the impulse and, and the corrective part here. Now, if we are again looking at the next structure coming down, we would need to go smaller time frame here. In here, I would label this as one, two, three, four, five into an A wave, then some kind of pullback into wave B, and then again, uh, continuation for that C wave downwards. Now, this has been a bit problematic. Um, and as if you've been watching the S&P 500 updates daily, we can see, oh, you should have said, seen that scenario where we have this as a one, two. Of course, we can't see that in a way or oh, one hour time frame because the wave two was so sharp and shallow, uh, fast in time that we can't see it on one hour time frames, but it should be there. Um, and then we would have third wave, fourth, and then looking at this as the fifth. Now we don't need to be labeling this as a contracting diagonal here because again um, we don't have overlap between this high here and this low. It definitely would look pretty good as a diagonal as well. Now since that low was put in place this would end the wave 5 and end the wave C of this higher time frame. On higher time frame we would have this ABC coming down to the 1.236 and then we would be looking at some kind of retracement. Now. I don't think this is going to be the retracement that we are after. This is definitely just a part of it. Um, if we are even zooming in a bit further here on 15 minute, we can see that this three-way structure is indeed a three-way structure into a possible A wave. I'm thinking this as an A wave because again, this is way too small to correct this ABC structure that we had here in time. Um, so yeah, this would be just the A wave of this thing or this correction. Then we had another very impulsive mood to the downside. I would expect this to be an A wave, part of this whole structure still. And then we would be looking at this, uh, some kind of structure here to, for that way B. This would take most likely the uh, mon whole of Monday to develop. And then I would be expecting us to take another dump here for that way C to complete the B wave. So A, B, and then we would be heading higher. Um, yeah, Ma max. I would see where B would go to is the 11.7k area, um, uh, which again, uh, this would be too low for this B way to happen. And at that point, again, I would expect this to be something else. I have account for that as well. Now, after this one, we would be expecting that C wave. However, that would be again, fireway structure. So I don't really expect us to be taking this long. The 38.2 here is pulled from, see these pivots here? 
So started from here and pulled back to the start of here or end of the C wave. So again, 38.2 would be the minimum we want to see for this next correction to take place. If it is not taken, um, if it has not taken enough time, it is more likely that this is indeed just a part of this larger degree of correction that we would be getting something like this. Again, if this C wave completes before the 382, which would be around 8th of September. But that is again speculation that we don't need to be doing before this actually happens. Um, so yeah. Now the other scenario would be this one. Instead of having this as an ABC, this is the way more bearish option in which we would have this as a 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 1 again and then 2. So a nested pattern of 1, 2s coming up um, and then we would be just getting lower. Now there is confluence between these both of these counts saying that okay this is a fire move here, this last leg downwards and then we would be looking for a retracement. Not taking out these highs here, because again, this should be a start of something new, um, and then looking for continuation downwards. This is a good thing that we have multiple different counts saying that, okay, this is what we are going to be expecting on both of them. So that is going to give us more confidence that we are actually heading more downwards. Whether we are going to be doing it the way we were expecting on the other counts and doing uh, going up to this point and then going higher. I'm not quite sure of that yet. But again, this whole structure is so much more bearish um, that we have to be acknowledging that there is a possibility for this. Now, if we are again zooming out and pulling out this uh, ABC structure over here, um, this has been the main idea overall uh, for quite some time, having this as an ABC into W, three-way pullback, very wonky looking, very extended C wave for this X. And then we could be looking at this wave Y here. Now, this is going to be taking a lot of time. If this indeed is already done, this X, it is possible that we had the ABC that we were thinking here as, as the, uh, well, we can't really see it here, but ABC here as part of this correction where we would be looking into getting an extension upwards again to give us a bit more time confluence uh, for this structure to connect to the next one down. The overall structure, I am think, still thinking that we need to be going down because this is not impulsive structure. So <clears throat> whether we're going to be doing it like this or doing it like this is the question. But to me, there's no doubt that we're going to be taking out these lows at some point. But I feel like that is pretty much everything and all the expectations I have for NASDAQ. I hope, for, hope that it made some sense to you uh, to see all the higher time frame structures as well uh, clumped into one video and not needing to go through all the videos again to see the higher time frame picture. But if you made it this far into the video, I would appreciate the likes, links to my free Discord server in the description below. And for now, I thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.